Hello, today we are going to be looking at weather map symbols. You are going to be taking these notes in your ISN. If you are unsure what page number you're supposed to be working on, please check your planner or check eChalk for what page number to work on in your ISN. During the weather unit, we are going to be taking a look at three different types of fronts. Cold fronts, warm fronts, and stationary fronts. The big thing to remember is that each type of front is going to have some rain with it. Cold front, warm front, and stationary all have rain. A cold front is usually symbolized with the little triangles. One way to remember that on a test, because your tests aren't going to be color coded, is that the triangles look like icicles. So your cold front moves pretty fast in the direction of the arrows and it brings storms and cooler weather. So if you see a cold front symbol like this, that means that it will be moving south in the direction of the arrows are pointing. Warm fronts are represented by a line with some semicircles on it. On a test, since it's not color coded, one way to think about it is semicircles can be like a sun or a beach ball thinking of warm weather. So a warm front moves slow in the direction of the half circles and it comes with rain, clouds, and warmer weather. So as you see, if you had this symbol on the map, you know that this warm front would be moving south in the direction that the circles are facing. The stationary front symbol has a mixture of the cold front and the warm front symbols. And a stationary front has little or no movement and the area will experience long periods of rain. Stationary, if you are familiar with that word, stationary means not moving. So a stationary front just kind of sits over an area and provides rain in that area for a while. The second type of thing that we're going to be looking at on the weather maps are high pressure systems and low pressure systems. These are represented by the letter H and L. Sometimes they'll just have the symbol by itself and other times the symbol will have a circle around it. A high pressure system usually moves in a clockwise direction and that usually forecasts clear skies, good weather, pretty weather. Low pressure system moves in a counterclockwise direction. And it usually forecasts clouds and precipitation, you usually get strong storms over land. And if a low pressure system develops over water, it could eventually turn into a hurricane. One way to remember the difference between the type of weather in a high pressure system and a low pressure system is to think about the weather feeling low. Think of a person feeling low. They're sad. It's gloomy. You have storms and bad weather. For a high pressure system, think of happy or high on life. Not high on drugs, but happy and high on life. You think of good weather, sun, pretty skies. So that's one way that you can differentiate between the two pressure systems if you ever get confused. Once you have finished your notes, great job.